Hey Pisces, honey. Mm. Like your energy is so. I feel like I told y'all this last time. We need y'all, okay? We need y'all. We thank y'all. We appreciate you all, Pisces. Ooh, Ooh. somebody. There's a reason you need to hear all of that. And it's just like, why? Why? Okay, so before we get into this, welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for your love and your support. And yeah, this is a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of July. Um, ooh, thank God. And yeah, we're just going to get into this. So just take what resonates with you, Pisces. As you see, as I was trying to talk, it's just like, as you're trying to keep it moving, manifest new, there's a filtering out. You know, this energy can't stay in your energy when this is what you are being offered. This is what you're stepping into. So it's like a, it's like a, a, a extermination of a spirit is what I'm getting. Interesting. So let's see. I'm getting, I do get a heavy, because y'all have been having huge entrepreneur vibes, like the visions that you have, the, the, your ability to create at this time, especially now with Saturn retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, you know, really taking advantage of this Capricorn energy. You know, there may be someone who's trying to steal your ideas, steal your money making ideas, but at the end of the day, <laughs> Pisces of all people know, okay. Pisces definitely know what you see. You know, you can take you can take what you think you what you think I'm about to do. But that's not even the half. What you've talked about, maybe I'm getting to this person, what you've communicated with this person, things they know with these swords, you know, your gifts still come from the heavens. Let's see, what messages do we have for my Pisces for the month of July? I just got irritated. See? Welcome from the heavens, honey. Got a decision, more source. Wow. Look at that. Because this is not just about you. This is bigger than you. And the fact that you already came into this world with this Pisces energy, you, you've taken on a responsibility that, you know, you're going to run into those sheep. Though, hmm, interesting. You gonna run into sheep, but you also gonna run into the wolves in sheep's clothing, and your decision, your ability. I'm getting your ability, your awareness, because to me, it's just like the King of Swords may be here, might as well be here. With the King of Cups here, it's just like you are able to make an emotionally reserved decision about something, and it's bringing justice to you and generations to come. So forget. <laughs> This is why this can't be here. This is why this can't be in your aura. So whether it is a family member, um, a water sign, a Libra, or something that has to do with a marriage, a contract. Someone's also making the decision not to drink anymore. Because they may feel like they get a, a certain type of way or someone has communicated to them that they get a certain type of way. Um, and it gets in the way of manifesting a new form of stability because it's just like delving into finances that just you're not making. I mean, again, judgment. I've been getting huge judgment energy. Let's see what messages do we have for my Pisces? Mm. Again, finances is a huge, huge role in this. Cat. Mm, that Capricorn energy is strong, and I want it is strongly because of the transits. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, but th this Libra energy here, and then you know someone that um that square with Chiron. That it's a lot of cardinal energy up in here. <laughs> it's a lot of cardinal energy. That somebody is really having to look at and it's it's hitting them in a different way it's just like now it's hitting you in your finances and it's showing you you need to stop drinking like you do and you may be having to keep it real with somebody or with yourself because then 
you start I'm trying to tell you, Spirit is saying it's big bucks here for whoever's going to sit up here and take responsibility and, and accountability. There's new beginnings. There's a newfound happiness. It's just like now, whoever decides to make this change and this huge change, 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 change in the middle of all of these eclipses, this Capricorn lunar eclipse too. Mm -hmm. And then we have, I mean, this person has another opportunity with this Cancer New Moon at the end of the month. And I, what is it, like the 20th or the 22nd or something? It's going to be at 28 degrees. While we just have the solar eclipse on the solstice at zero degrees. So, yeah, there may have been some words, some back and forth deception when it came to that Gemini energy. Because it was just on the brinks. And it's just like, here you have another opportunity. Because you may have gotten hit with all this Capricorn Lunar Eclipse energy with the full moon. And now it's just bringing justice. Like, okay. Like, Ten of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles. That's what's telling me there is so much potential here few manage the little bit i'm getting manage the pentacle manage two pentacles you'll be the queen of pentacles when this comes in the person who knows the value of a dollar the person who knows where their money is going virgo energy strong you may be getting a financial advisor let's see what messages taurus Maybe you need, might need to talk to the Taurus because they've been on it. They've been on it for a minute. They, they're the only ones that ask for financial readings. Let's see. Wow. Wow, Pisces. Interesting. When I see this, especially in your reading, and I just, I kind of just close my eyes and I, I got this Pisces energy to say, I'm going home. I'm going home. And it's just like this call here. Maybe calling you inside to really heal. And that's what's causing this change in a direction. So there is going to be some friction. You know, there is interesting. And I'm glad you're going home. So whoever that resonates with, I'm glad. You know, because I'm not getting so much of physical. It's that Cancer North Node divine feminine energy of the mother really healing and feeding what makes sense to you. But it's funny how... It ain't even funny because this is so serious for you. Like, this is really serious. Like, there's a reason why you always had that Five of Wands, Seven of Swords energy in your past. It's like people always trying to come for you and the Seven of Wands energy. And even though so many people admire your energy and this and this and that, they, they just drain. They just take. They just take and they just take. And here you are being presented with this opportunity or really in the state of contemplation and reflection. Like, okay, it's time to get real. Not for the love of money and material things because Pisces definitely is like, no, you were the ones seeing the visions. You were the ones being misunderstood. You were the ones people were calling crazy. And now God is like, it's time. But we are all going through a test. And Pisces is not exempt. And it's just like, you've been going through it, Pisces. You, you've been God's right-hand man in this all. And you're just like, ah, test time for me too oh, okay <laughs> you know oh that's so interesting now that just came out okay so let's see what messages do we have for my pisces pulling from the tulee material wow pisces is this four yep at first i seen three so i see this ace of wands is this a sun it is a sun in the okay the three of pentacles and the knight of wands it is a, again what do i tell y'all i think i tell y'all all the time it's time to it's time to tap in because also someone may need to get a pap smear just saying that but I do get a huge birth energy, creativity, this Leo energy as soon as Mercury goes direct. I believe like on the 12th, but it leaves a storm on the 20th, on the brinks of Leo season. You know, so that's when I'm getting other people may want to come with you and collaborate. We talked about this. And you've already been facing all of these pinnacles. You know, I'm getting this weekend and be even stronger, especially, yeah, the moon will be in Pisces. And then as it goes into Aries, you may be feeling like other people are coming to you. This is this attraction, whether you're just delving into your own, having your own me time and just not really talking to anybody. I'm getting hermit mode, um, Libra, Virgo energy, and just really, really, really tapping in and creating. 
keep a notebook by your pillow let's see what is the overall message i'm pulled from the mother piece wow i'm trying to tell you knock that devil over pisces knock them over all of these labels it's like i'm so glad i decided to pull from this and then the devil in this do you see do you see how he he just has he thinks he has okay but it's okay pisces <laughs> because thank god for pisces that's all you have to say you know again i said god's right hand man and when you really tap in and you come through like this it's like you may even be coming through like uh-uh uh-uh because you are the philanthropy sign you're next to aquarius a lot of inter interconnection but just that healing so we got to get to the, we got to we got to knock out the subconscious thoughts first you know these illusions fake news too <laughs> so thank you so much pisces for your love and your support and i pray you all take care may peace and blessings be upon you all and i will see you all again soon bye